Hey everybody, Shav Nobody Else's Auto. Gonna check out another super cool ride we've got sitting around here today. AMC Pacer. This is about a 78. This is when they went to the egg crate style grill. These cars are getting so, they're getting so popular. They're a neat little car. Very few of these were saved over the years. Most people thought, eh, who's ever gonna want a Pacer? Well, now they're kind of neat. They're kind of different. And some people really are starting to like them. They're kind of getting their own following and they're different. And that's what we do this hobby for because it's different, it's cool. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it means something to you, brings back some memories, that's why we do this. So that's what all these cars are about. That's why some of these cars that weren't very popular over the years are starting to come back and the Pacer's a perfect example of it. This one we've got here, pretty complete old car. This was actually the wagon version. Had a little bit longer body, had wood grain on it. We can see a little bit of the wood grain still left down here. Most of it's been flaked off. But uh, these are neat little cars. This one's got a little bit of rust in it, but it really isn't terrible. It's mainly skin stuff. Somebody added American racing wheels to this car all the way around, put some big wide ones on the back, kind of jacked it up. Kind of a neat little touch to a pacer wagon. We can see that the luggage rack is off of it, but it's inside the car. Somebody took it off and put it inside. As we work our way on around the back, we can see, as these cars are well known for, glass everywhere. They were known as the fishbowl, all kinds of things like that. Big, huge windows on the back, on the side, everywhere. So that's kind of one of the nicknames they got, and that's why. I mean, windows here, windows there, tons of glass. Couldn't have been the most comfortable thing to drive on a hot summer day, but they were unique. That's one way to put it. There wasn't a lot anything else out there like it. We can see down this side of the car, there again, a little bit of rust in the quarters, but overall it's minimal. And other than a few pieces of trim, it's pretty much intact. And finding an intact pacer, you don't see them very often anymore. Especially one hopped up with the American racing wheels all the way around it. So these are neat cars. We got back around the front. See the unique nose on this with the egg crate grill, the big bumpers. We're gonna take a peek inside this thing. The hood latch is stuck, so I can't get the hood open. We're definitely gonna take a look inside while we're here. This big, huge, massive door. We can take a look inside there. The seats are a little rough because this car has been sitting for a long time. But uh, you know, we can see the Pacer over on the glove box door. It still has the original Pacer emblem down there low. One interesting thing about this car, if we look down there at the dash, it's got a factory AM FM radio, a factory AMC AM FM radio right there. Another unique touch to this car. Inside, we can look around the back, the back seat, everything's still all there. The trim's all still there. Another unique feature of these pacers, they have these real high door panels. You can see the edge of the door panels clear up here. The glass is clear down here. The door lock buttons down here near the door handle. Your remote mirror right there, easily accessible. Just such a unique, different little car. We can see these trim panels are gone here. It had a trim panel here, but they're still laying here inside the car as well with the original 70s type funky material pattern that matched the armrest and matched the seats. So definitely a unique little car. These cars are really starting to have a, a following. They're starting to come into their own. These are some of the cars that for years, they were just completely neglected. Nobody thought anybody would ever want one. But uh, I think they're neat. We're fans of them. And uh, this, is, this little car here definitely has a lot of potential for somebody. So a little different, a little off key tonight, but still cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So as always, if you've got any questions, give me a call. 620-786-4428. That number's on the page. Having that short conversation about your project or what you want your project to be, whether it's this little Pacer or any of the other 1,500 cars and trucks we've got sitting around here. Having that short conversation about your project, year, make, model, body style, the direction you want to go with it, things like that, all information that I need to know if I can help you out or not. So give me a quick call, real simple. Go over that on the phone in a few minutes and know where we're both going. So if you're on Facebook, please share this video with your friends. Invite them to come over and give the page a like so they can hang out with us. If you're on YouTube, check out all my other videos. You like old cars, you like old trucks, you like memorabilia, you like pacers, you like any of these trucks you see sitting around us here. Tons of videos on all we do on this channel is old car and truck stuff. So be sure to check that out. Subscribe, hang out with us, keep up with what's going on. And uh, you never know what's going to pop up next. New inventory coming in all the time. Always excited to see what I even, sometimes it even excites me to see what I find. So stay tuned. 
Lots more cool stuff coming. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us tonight, checking out the video, and we will see you soon on the next one.